There are so many women that I could speak about that have influenced me, that have held me up. One that stands out the most is Linda Gray. She was the executive director of the Urban Native Youth Association and the work that she has been able to do serving that community and also advocating for really important policy change. She has walked that with such grace, with such knowledge, and she's fierce. I had an incredible opportunity to meet a woman by the name of Virginia Green. At a time when I desperately needed to have a strong, capable, influential woman to mentor me through, I was able to witness, probably for the first time in my career, what it looked like to have a woman command a room. I think I would have lost my ability to come into my own and be unapologetic about that if I hadn't had, had the opportunity to, to meet Virginia. I've had the benefit of, of the championship and support and inspiration of, of many incredible female role models. One that comes to mind in our local community is Anne Giardini. She's currently the Chancellor of SFU and I'm a member of the board. One thing I love about Anne is her ability to champion others. Championship is really about identifying opportunities for others that they may not see for themselves. And I've been the fortunate beneficiary of some of that support. Just that little nudge of encouragement or you should go and apply for this or put yourself forward for that goes a long way and means so much. I never had any women role models or mentors or coaches as I was growing up as a leader. And so the leader I want to talk about who was very instrumental in my own growth and success even to today is John Kelly. He was founder of Systems House, Nabu Networks. He's a founding father of tech in Canada. He was so willing to listen, so calm, and then so direct with his feedback. But the bigger thing was he agreed to invest time in me to grow me further as a leader. And it's one of the reasons why I spend time now giving back everything I received. In my youth, I did remember seeing Margaret Thatcher on TV. And I remember there was a woman very passionately making a point in a room of all men. And I thought, wow, you know what? That's a trailblazer. I want to be a trailblazer like that. Quite often, young women like to emulate uh, someone else. Uh, they want to see what's possible. And having role models that are able to achieve ranks of leadership sets the example that, yes, these things are achievable. They're not outside the realm of possibility. I lived in Britain in the mid-80s, and there was only one woman in the world that anybody was paying attention to, and that was Margaret Thatcher. And that could be a common answer from women, I would think, because, you know, particularly women of my generation, there weren't, there still aren't very many women in leadership around to look to. She was a woman who set a model for how women can break the mold and can be effective. And so what WXN is doing in celebrating women and making sure that women's success stories are told is vitally important because it normalizes women's contribution at the top levels. I have 28 women on my team and I take my responsibility as the person they look to every day incredibly seriously being vulnerable, transparent, authentic, and to also show that you don't get it right every time and that's actually okay. I'm grateful that it was mirrored for me and I'm grateful that I now get to do the same for others.